Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Wow. Do you guys realize this is video number 4,690 for me? I've recorded more than those videos uh, on YouTube because I've been recording videos since long before YouTube existed. Some fun videos, really. Videos I'm probably never going to share with the rest of the world, not because... They're not meant to be shared just because uh, a lot of videos I recorded were kind of pointless. And I hope that the video that we are recording right now is not a pointless video. I hope you appreciate everything uh, that we're about to lay down in front of you during this The Locker Gnome Daily Report. That's T-L-D-R, also short for Too Long Didn't Read. And I hope you read the things that we've written for you on LockerGnome.com, uh, things that we're going to be covering this hour, but if you don't want to read, that's okay. You're watching. You're listening. I don't know, maybe maybe you're not watching. Maybe you are just listening. Do, do you have me on the back? Am I in the, on the background right now? Do you even know? Hang on. Do you know what's on my shirt? You've probably seen this before. <laughs> what's the word that's on my shirt? I had to look too, although I can't read upside down very well. All right, it's true. I, I can't read. Can you believe I, I graduated magna cum laude with a degree in English and I'm illiterate? No, I'm kidding. I'm not illiterate. And I hope the people behind me aren't illiterate either. And it seems like they've got a pretty good grasp on their uh, writing skills. These are the gnomies. Uh, you know, people who, uh, you know, have joined a certain part of our community. People who want more knowledge from me. Maybe you like the knowledge that I, I impart on a daily basis and you want more. Let's say you're an entrepreneur. You're a business owner. You need help making more money. Well, that's kind of what a gnomie subscription can do for you. Get you right into my head. You, like, if, if I were to drill a hole in my skull, I would squeeze you right in there like you were a cork. And then you would soak up my brain tissue. And So let's go ahead and welcome DJ Mix Doctor, Yamazaru Ninja, Stacy P, Kyle K. Uh, we also have Fogarty, Ben Tarr, Brian M, Jamie Bouch, This Damn Scotsman, The Nitrum 24, IFA. IFA? I bet you it's iPhone. He's on his iPhone. But it got cut off, so it's just IFA. Which is good food. I love pho. Uh, we also have Ed, who is apparently on his MacBook. Uh, Tyler Bietka, Phil Sbit, April Elise Martin, Tech Guru, Riser Joe 727, D Bishop, Right Noob, Rick Brett, Marshmallow Man, Daniel Bushor, and uh, you know others. And then of course we have people who are tuned in live on YouTube right now. Now, see as I get closer to the microphone. Now my voice gets like even squeakier. Like uh, let's see here we have Shiz Gaming Clan. Watching on uh, YouTube Live. Evangelist Soldier, Mason54X, Ass Quick Kicker Swag. Where do you guys come up with these usernames? Uh, Big Will4045, Pinkin5555, Nickel Star Films, One Radical Dude. Uh, we also have, oh, who else? Oh, Mr. King Naz. Naturally, we've got him. Hey, we've got 118 people watching so quickly. We haven't even told people that we're streaming live, the people who didn't know that we do this every weekday at 3 p.m. So let's go ahead and tease her out on Facebook uh, to 66,000 people. I'm going to say, and so it was streamed. I'm going to tweet this out to 104,000 people following me on uh, Twitter. And then, of course, going to go ahead and like this video, like I'm asking you to like this video because we like when you like this video. There's no hate button. Thank God. Uh, and then when you like the video, go ahead and plus one it on Google+. Plus. It's easy to do. And you say something, and then people who have circled you on Google+, Plus will find out. Now, speaking of, let's say uh, an hour or so of Chris Perillo streaming live isn't enough for you. Uh, let's say you want more. Okay, uh, 5 p.m. today, uh, and that's Pacific time here in the Seattle area, uh, I'm going to be doing a live Google+, Plus Hangout. And uh, it's going to be a discussion for YouTube partners, people who are on YouTube making money. And if you're on YouTube and you're making money, awesome. I'm just like you. Uh, if you're on YouTube or you want to be on YouTube making money, you may still want to tune into that Google Plus Hangout. It's going to be broadcast so you can watch it. And even if you're not watching live or even if you're not in the circle of being able to participate live, that's okay because it will be recorded and you'll be able to watch it later in this our YouTube channel with 4,600 and at that point, 91 videos. Unless we uploaded more after then. You realize we're doing 1,800 new videos a year? You have to try to avoid me online. 
You, you kind of got to go out of your way to avoid me on. I'm everywhere. Go ahead, search for something. Did I pop up? Hopefully it was a good search term or that I created content related to something that uh, you were searching for. That's the goal. So con artist says, yay, Chris Perillo. Well, thank you. Yay, con art. Actually, it's con artiste. And his O in his name is actually a zero. I got to be careful about sign language. Apparently I signed inadvertently the, the, the American sign language word for a lady's private part once. <laughs> And it was captured in a YouTube thumbnail. And someone told me, he said, uh, that innovative nurse guy, he says, uh, do you realize the sign that you just signed there? And I'm like, oh, no, I, I thought I was doing something different. Didn't mean to do that and offend those people out there who know American Sign Language. So what will we be covering over the next hour or so? I'm glad you asked. And even if you didn't ask, I, I'm glad you were possibly thinking of it. We're going to be uh, covering the challenges facing professional bloggers. Uh, people like myself, possibly you, if you are a blogger and you're trying to do it professionally, and if you're trying to make money with it, you're doing it professionally. If you're doing it for somebody else, you're doing it professionally. Uh, we're also going to cover the best Android and iPhone security software that we could find. Oh, what's this? Covering Android and iOS at the same time? Are your brains leaking out of your ears? Dude, we've been doing that for years years despite what some people would have you believe no i'm not biased actually we're all biased and anybody who says otherwise doesn't know his ass from his elbow we're also going to be covering how to make a bug out bag uh, as in a bag that you would need to grab in a case of emergency uh, and this is something you got to consider you may be thinking oh no all i need is my computer really that's that's what's going to have you survive a, a nuclear holocaust yeah a computer with the internet no longer existing and no ability to recharge the computer, you may want to think about what you would put in that bag that you would grab in case of emergency. We'll be covering it today, as well as the top 10 social Android apps. And here I thought that Android users were antisocial. Huh, who knew? Uh, we're also going to be covering, uh, you know, a few other things, possibly answering some questions uh, from the audience that we have here. Your questions, possibly, as you ask them on either LockerGnome.net, a question that you might throw in uh, during the, the YouTube live comments. Although, this is the funny thing. Uh, when I searched for you, it said your your search, Chris Pirolo, did not match any documents. Well, it doesn't surprise me because my last name is Perillo, not Parolo. <laughs> what do you think I am, some chocolate-coated caramel guy? Perillo, P-I-R-I-L-L-O. There's one O in my last name. Two I's, no E's, and a silent Q. See, in order to search for things that I've done, you got to spell my name correctly. I didn't think it was that much of a challenge. I guess it was, even with it being spelled correctly on the video page. Look, look up there. What do you see? Thursday's TLDR. Do you see it? Do you see it? Look up there. Do you see it? Oh, is it, is it not? Is it down there? Okay. It should also say tech news reviews and Q and A with Chris Perillo or Chris Perillo. Where it's somewhere here? Do, do I do I really need to do a spelling lesson on my last name? You guys are worse off than I thought. My wife, Fi, brought me a, a glass of water. This is very refreshing, hon. You didn't spit in it this time, did you? This is a whole, we were doing this whole pranking thing where, you know, she throws up a little bit in my water and I'm like, oh, it's like Alicia Silverstone. This is really, really good. Yeah, that wasn't funny. I probably shouldn't have started that, though, should I? I probably should just let it end there. We love each other so. We love each other so much, we regurgitate into each other's mouths. If you guys think I'm kidding, you guys... I'm not joking. Google Alicia Silverstone regurgitate. This woman, you know, you might remember from uh, 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 movies a decade ago, chews her food and then regurgitates it into her baby's mouth. Wow. I don't do that. Thought about it, but no, uh, it's a little... Hmm. All right, so let's go ahead. See, I'm not, I'm not kidding. Jamie Bouch saw it. Maybe you saw it too. Kind of crazy. Uh, let's go ahead and <laughs> while we're uh, gathering questions like a Rolling Stone gathers moss, 
uh, and talk about some challenges facing professional bloggers. One of the first articles we published on LockerGnome.com. We blog. We've been blogging since before blogging was a word. Blog. To log things on the web. Web log. Cut out the W-E. Blog. Even though we still blog. Uh, LockerGnome.com is a place for bloggers to post their stories. Uh, typically, uh, stories that are related to the world of startups, social media, technology, uh, opinion pieces, uh, geekery in general. Uh, LockerGnome is this universe of stories. And, uh, you know, we've realized over uh, the, the past few years that bloggers, people who write and create content professionally, that is, they make money with the content they're creating, uh, are facing uh, challenges on an increasing basis. So journalists had at one point really looked down upon bloggers, saying, oh, that's not real, it's, they're not journalists. Yeah, well, that's true. I am definitely not a journalist. I never claim to be a journalist. Very rarely would you even hear me describe myself as a blogger. I'm a geek. I love technology. I love what it does. I love what it does for me and for others, individuals, businesses. I just live inside the world of technology. Uh, and I love sharing that passion with other people. And I've parlayed that passion into, well, what you would see happening in front of your face. Sharing information in this video. Sharing information that somebody else has written about. Uh, these challenges that are really staring us in the face. Anybody can go to YouTube... Flir, uh, flir, that wasn't even a word. Flick on a video camera, uh, start recording a video, post, uh, post it online, and potentially make money with it. So why are you watching the video that I've recorded? What's interesting about me compared to everybody else? I guess one hour of YouTube video is uploaded every second of the day. That's how much video is going online. And with the cacophony of uh, content, all this noise, this uh, just, I would say, uh, a mass of blah, it's very difficult or becoming increasingly difficult to stand out. Even with a unique voice and a unique perspective, uh, despite the, the, the hurdles that you face being looked down upon by other people because you don't uh, have credentials, uh, it's really getting out there in front of a wider audience. I've been lucky enough to have started in the mid-90s, doing this, even though I wasn't doing this video, I mean, doing things like this video way back before anybody realized it was commercially viable, that they could make money. But blogging these days, if you were to start up your own blog today, uh, good luck making money. I'm not kidding. Blogging is rarely... What's the word I'm going to say here? Profitable you got to put a lot of time and effort in creating content. This video itself probably won't be profitable. Oh, you may think, oh, they're running ads in the video. He, he's probably making a billion dollars. <laughs> no, 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 no. It doesn't work that way. Creating content doesn't really create a lot of revenue. It creates opportunities, certainly. But if you want to create content and make money with it, you're better off getting paid by someone else to create the content than you are creating the content yourself. Unless, of course, you're trying to drive value to another part of your world, another part of your business. You're creating content to drive attraction uh, or to attract other people to the other things that you're doing, uh, in which case it, again, remains one of those loss leaders in terms of the time that you spend on blogging, creating content. Um, and then, of course, finding a, vi a viable niche means limiting yourself. So what's Chris Perillo's niche? What does Chris Perillo do? Uh, you probably have this you know, idea in your head. Chris Perillo loves talking about technology. He does. He likes talking about consumer technology. He likes talking about technology applications uh, for businesses. And with so many businesses coming online and needing to come online, that's, a, a, I would say, a, a pretty strong niche. Having an understanding and perspective of the industry over a decade uh, of experience combined with practical business application and, and knowledge, it's a decent niche. Now, you might say, well, I know about technology too. Okay, well, how long have you been doing it? And where have you been doing it? And how successful have you been at doing it? Uh, you know, there are a lot of geeks out there, a lot of technologists, a lot of 
experts who just don't have the experience. And that's really what separates the wheat from the chaff more than anything. Well, to gain experience, you got to start doing something. And even if you're doing something, you know that you're not going to pay the bills instantaneously. It takes time. It takes work. And to define that brand for yourself, to get it to the point, well, you got to blog. You got to get your knowledge out there. Uh, you've you've got to work harder than other people. You also are, are, are faced with a cavalcade of other problems like ad blockers, RSS readers, social media, copycats. And the list goes on and on. Uh, if you want to blog professionally, you're better off at this point uh, doing a little work on your own, building up your own brand and social media, and then getting paid for blogging uh, from outlets that will pay you for blogging, like Locker Gnome. I'm not just talking about the problem. I'm helping you find a solution. If you have a strong voice, if you can write well, we pay bloggers to create content on LockerGnome.com, which then gets turned around and produced as videos. This video that I'm recording has to do with the article that was written. We've detailed even more frustrations that you might face if you're blogging today. And I'm guessing that you have a blog because everybody seems to have a blog, but what are you doing with it? You're trying to be professional with it? You might be doing it wrong. Mm-mm. Kind of went dehydrated with that one. Kind of <laughs> overboard. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. And let me check. Rockernome.net. Kind of ran short today. So, was Chris in South Park Season 16, Episode 3? <laughs> no, but it's someone who looks an awful lot like me. Really? Yeah. What do you want to see? No, it's on LockerGnome.net. That's I can't. Sh- I don't have the rights to share it, and I don't want to get in trouble from the creators of South Park. Right yes, it is a good thing you have an iPad, isn't it? <laughs> Tell them that our whole house smells like bacon today. Our whole house smells like bacon today, and it does because we made bacon. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see here. I'm looking here. Uh, Does a better audio recorder software make a better job? How to enter my router when the wireless is disabled? Will you connect to it directly Uh, with your network cable? What should I spend my Audible free credit on? That's a good question. I don't have an answer. Uh, Why are DVD and Blu-ray drives shown as CD drives under Windows 7? Uh, Could be because of driver issues and definitions of the, the hardware. What happened to my Windows 7? I have no idea. What is your favorite email provider? The one that stays up. That's me. Uh, That is so weird. I'm looking at the questions on LockerGnome.net. It's not Kevin Bacon. I mean like real bacon. What do you think of Internet Explorer 9? I don't. How do you like Google's new Play tab? I... I don't know if I'd say like is the word I would use necessarily. <clears throat> it's there. How do I get my WordPress post to automatically show up on Dig and Google Plus? Will you submit it? Certainly that's about it. Minecraft music mods. Uh, how long do you wait to call a girl after getting her phone number? That's kind of creepy. Some interesting questions. The uh, Star Wars fact file. What's the best data recovery tool for Windows Mac? Why did Firefox do that? Some good geeky questions. I don't know if we can necessarily address them in videos. I was just I was seeing what we had there, uh, in in not uh, you know in a tremendous amounts, but it's okay. Let's talk about uh, best Android and iPhone security software, shall we? Your mobile phone is not secure. I mean, it is secure in the sense that it's probably sitting in front of you. But if you connect to the internet and uh, let's say you click on a link that comes in through email, uh, you may be a victim of a phishing attempt. Oh, look, I'm going to my bank's website. Tap. I'm logging into my bank's website. Oh, that's not my bank's website. Oops. Now a website that's not my bank has my username and password. That's how easy it is. So uh, it doesn't matter if you're using an iPhone, Windows Phone 7, Android device. Uh, your phone may need security software. And I know 
If you are technically minded, you're saying, I don't need security software, I know exactly what I've been doing, I've never downloaded a virus, never clicked on a link that I didn't mean to click on an email, I know what I'm doing. Well, then this uh, is not for you. The story that we're sharing here on LockerGnome.com, the best Android and iPhone security software. So we were looking for software that would be light on resources, easy to install, be designed with a simple to use interface, not just like a, you know, cluster of uh, icons that just didn't make any sense. Uh, incorporate some type of virus protection, potentially, plus backups and phone locator. Having a built-in ability to locate a missing or stolen phone. Uh, and of course, be available for the platforms that uh, most people seem to be using these days. So don't think that just because you're using an iPhone that you have a safe device in your hands. And don't think that just because you're using an Android device that you know everything about everything, even though a lot of Android users seem to believe that they know everything about everything. Don't ask me. I, I don't make up this stuff. I just, you know, I predict and, and I evaluate what I see people doing. Uh, the bottom line is people need to be protected and you need to think smart. Before you hand over a, a device, a new device to say someone who doesn't know as much about technology that you might know, you got to make sure they're protected. You can't just say, oh, it's easy. No, for them, it may not be easy. Think of people like my dad. You've met my dad. You like my dad. Is he going to stay protected. Uh, giving him an experience that may be amazing for you may not be amazing for him if it leaves him vulnerable. So think about that the next time you go to recommend a device to somebody else. Even if you happen to be a fan of one platform over another, make sure you're giving them a complete set of tools that's going to keep them safe in using that smartphone, which, by the way, in case you haven't seen any of the other videos that I've done, uh, a smartphone, as I've said, is a computer. We've got a, a full list of details in the article that we've posted on LockerGnome.com linked in this video's description. Yer. Yay. That was kind of weak, huh? Was, I, I didn't believe that you were happy. You mind doing that again? Yay. Okay, be more happy. All right. How to make a bug out bag. You ready? If, let's say, uh, your house caught fire, uh, if there's an earthquake, if uh, a nuclear bomb dropped somewhere in the distance, uh, if massive flooding occurred, if you had to leave your house right now, what would you grab? I, I, I don't mean like the only thing that you would grab, but what would you grab? Think about it. If there's a possibility that you may not be coming back to the house for a couple of weeks, if ever, what would you want to grab that would help you survive in the elements? Nature. And, when, you know, potentially nuclear fallout. Now, I don't know what's going to save you from that, but any kind of disaster, some kind of catastrophe, the end of the world, so to speak, Armageddon, what would you grab? I would strongly recommend you grab what's called a bug out bag when it's time to bug out. Some kind of emergency preparedness kit. And you're thinking, Chris, you generally talk about technology. Why are you bothering me with these details? Uh, because you're a human being, okay? And bad things can happen to you or to me. And without being prepared, you're leaving yourself exposed. So let, let me try to relate it to you in, in geekier terms. Uh, do you back up your computer? Why? Because disaster may strike. Your hard drive may crash. Your SSD may accidentally get wiped. What happens to that data if you didn't back it up? It's gone, potentially for good. So you prepare. Uh, think about a bug out bag like you do a backup plan for your software. It's just a backup plan for your hardware. You, I mean, your body, that's, that's hardware, right? Save yourself, or at least set the stage for a more successful evacuation. If you create something that's going to help you, and you're thinking, I'll do it later, I'll do it later. Well, when was the last time you said the same thing about backing up your software, or your computer, your data, and then your hard drive crashed? You would have wished you had something. 
Please, don't put yourself in the position where you would have wished you would have had something. Just do it. It's like taking home inventory. We've covered this before. You can use software to help keep you organized. You can use software and experiences to help you create a bug out bag. If you need a guide, cool. We'll help you. We've linked the story in today's Locker Gnome article. If you, you look at the, the link in this video's description, uh, we give you an idea of where to set that bug out bag. Uh, well, I would recommend a, a place where you could grab it easily on the way out the door. It's important. Trust me, it's important. Uh, we give you some ideas of what kind of bag choices you might have. I mean, you may think, oh, I'll just grab any old bag. No, by the time something bad happens, it's too late to prepare. Like, you're, you're just going to scramble and potentially grab the wrong things. Have all the right things sitting in the bag. Things like backup water, a first aid kit, a fire, cooking, some uh, type of heat source, uh, possibly even a pocket knife, a flashlight, food, uh, radio, all these emergency supplies that could help you survive something bad. Think of it again like a backup plan for your life. Good enough? Yeah, you think? Yeah. All right, you ready, honey? I know that so many of you think that Android users are antisocial, and I guess you're probably right. Then again, it's long been said that every geek is antisocial, uh, whether you use an Android device or not. Maybe you feel like you're a little on the social side, connected to social media. Well, uh, I hope that you've got uh, plenty of those social apps installed on your Android device if you happen to have an Android device and you do feel social, although I would argue that just because you have access to social media doesn't mean you, you should be there. Uh, how many antisocial people do you know in social media, no matter what device they carry? Uh, you wish you could just cut them off and block them. Oh, so many people who upload videos to YouTube should never be allowed to breathe. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. So uh, we've outlined a few apps that you may want to have on your Android device, some social apps for your Android device if you're feeling social. Apps like Facebook, you know, the Facebook app. Maybe not optimized for uh, large screens yet. Maybe Facebook will eventually get around to that. Twitter, of course, also available for Android. Google Plus, naturally available for Android. Uh, there's also Tikal. Now, I don't know if you've heard of that before, T-I-K-L. That's touch to talk. You touch to talk. So it's kind of like, uh, think about like push to talk messages. It's available on Android and it's free. Haytel, I love Haytel. I use it on iOS. Uh, it's kind of like a little walkie talkie thing, you know, again, like a push to talk. So uh, it's kind of like Tikal. Only a lot of people use Haytel and you can connect your Facebook account to it and it makes it easy to find your friends. Bump, uh, and by the way, Bump, uh, if you didn't know, it's available on Android. So you can bump your contact information and other data be uh, between iPhone users and Android users. But today, Bump announced the ability to transfer money by bumping phones. Shake, you don't have to really bump each other. You just kind of shake it at the same time, and then they connect, and like, wow, it worked. Uh, Google Voice, also available. Uh, and maybe at some point in the future, uh, Google Voice uh, will be integrated uh, in a much more seamless fashion, not just with Android, but well for any device, although I don't see that happening anytime soon. Git Glue, I know a lot of fans uh, out there of Git Glue is also available. Bacon Reader for Reddit. Uh, my uh, wife, Fi, is a huge fan of, that's my nickname for my wife, uh, who's, she uses iOS, but she's a fan of Reddit. She she shows me, she says, hey Chris, look at, uh, and she shows me a picture and I'm like, Bleh! like why did you show me that? It's like, what she do? What happened, honey? Nothing. My foot fell asleep. Her foot fell asleep. I heard you kind of groan there, and I didn't know if it was a bad joke or what. Hootsuite is also available for free uh, to help you manage your Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Foursquare accounts, and at some point in the future, Google Plus as well. Uh, so the bottom line is there are a lot of decent apps that are available for Android, just like there are a lot of decent apps available for any mobile platform. Uh, you may have 10 apps as long as those 10 apps allow you to do what it is that you want to do, well, I say that's all that matters. Take a look at the list. We've got all the links for you in one convenient place in the article linked in this video's description on LockerGnome.com. A wicket did something. All right. Well, I guess we can do this, uh, this Nomi's thing. Although I got to record a separate video for it uh, for this weekend. Um, her foot. Boy, I'm that boring. My wife's foot fell asleep. <laughs> You're supposed to be excited.
No, no, it's, it's okay, honey. It's okay. My feelings aren't hurt. You fixed it? I didn't know. All right, let's talk about how to get your website promoted. I receive so many requests on a daily basis, people wanting me to look at their websites, uh, maybe even their social media profiles to give them feedback. Sometimes people create websites, apps, startups, uh, links in general that they want me to promote. They say, Chris, can you promote this? Can you share this with your... 200,000 YouTube subscribers. Could you share it with your 100,000 uh, Twitter followers? Can you share this with the 66,000 people who've liked you on Facebook? Could you share this with the million people who have circled you on Google Plus? Could you share this on LockerGnome.com? Could you share this to the thousands and thousands of people who subscribe to the Locker Gnome email newsletter? Could you share this on your blog? Could you share it to the 10,000 people who are shareholders of you on Empire Avenue? Could you share this link? Chris, will you share my link? Or have you asked me that? Have you asked me to share a link to your website, your blog, your app, your startup, your business, your content, any kind of link? You want me to share it? Yeah, okay, I'll do it. I will do it for approximately $83 a month. I'll give you a year's worth of promotion for less than $1,000. I say that's a pretty good deal. This is a new package, a new plan on Nomi's. So now we have three plans that are available. We've got the basic one. You subscribe for a year, you get access to all the webinars, and we hope to have about 52 of them in a year's time. Do you realize we've only had Nomi's around for a couple months and we already have over 400 active members? Had about 500 total. Uh, some people uh, were a bit in a, a side of our, our younger audience uh, who didn't quite have business that they wanted to share. I mean, they may be people who wanted to join us in, in chat, like all Nomi's can do. Uh, but more business owners have stick, uh, stuck aboard Nomi's uh, for one very important reason. It's valuable. It's extremely valuable. And now those Nomi's or people out there who have web pages and websites and apps and startups who want to be promoted, I'll do it. And I'm telling you, that's very reasonable. How much would you pay to gain access to that audience? So for uh, this plan, it's called the Pro Nomi's Plan. Pro, short, not for professional, because every one of the Nomi's is professional. Pro is short for promotions. You want a promotional opportunity. So here's what I'm going to do for all the pro Nomi's. Year round. Keep that in mind. Now, if you don't have a website, you don't want promoted, fine. Do it yourself. I'm sure you'll do fine. Get it out there. Maybe you're getting amazing traffic. Cool. Then, then this isn't for you. It's certainly not for everybody. Uh, so some of the things that we're going to be doing uh, for the pro level to get access to everything that we do on Nomi's and then get bonuses, the promotional bonuses. Uh, I will put promotional text of yours uh, on the live video feed at live.perillo.com for a year. So if those of you who stop by the chat room or, you know, or the live video feed, your text will rotate in there for a full year. It's pretty nice. Uh, I'll do 12 social media teases over the course of the year. So through some of those social networks that I listed, uh, we'll choose the best one for your particular link that you want promoted. Uh, so long as it's not, you know, anything that, uh, you know, would get us in trouble. We, we certainly have a terms of service on that front, but we'll do it 12 times, 12 times over, over the course of a year. That's pretty good exposure. Uh, we'll also do shout outs. I mean, I do that anyway. I shout out all the Nomi's names here. And I, I also t uh, shout, do shout outs for the people who are watching on YouTube live. Uh, at, at least I tried to at the beginning. I, I, I don't do that all the time, but we'll have at least one shout out uh, for your website uh, every month over the course. Uh, for, well, so there'd be 12, uh, one per month over the course of the year. Uh, we'll also, uh, for promotional uh, consideration, do a blog post for you on LockerGnome.com. So it will be promoted there as well. That goes out in our newsletter. It goes out in the chris.prillo.com blog post. It goes out through pretty much every one of our connected social networks. And then, and this is probably a bigger deal for those of you who love doing live video, uh, we are going to be creating a Ustream super channel. So if you go to my page on Ustream.tv, so I think it's Ustream.tv slash Chris Perillo, uh, pretty soon you will see uh, icons uh, underneath or somewhere around my live video embed. And those icons will be a part of our super channel. So when co people come to see my live video, they'll also potentially see yours. And we'll have this network of Nomi's on Ustream.tv. Could get you more live viewers. I don't know how many live viewers, but I've been pushing with Ustream since I sit on their board to try to get us a bit more promotion. So 
I'm gearing this towards those of you who want continuous attention over the course of a year for your website, your startup, your application. I'd say it's pretty reasonable if you do the math. Uh, and, you know, if, if you're really interested in helping spread the word and potentially getting more traffic and attention to that which you're doing online anyway or you put somewhere online that someone can click or look, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot to gain. I've got a pretty good audience, and I'd like to be able to expose a lot of you Nomis to it. So if Nomis wasn't for you before, maybe the pro level will be. And the only way to find out is to click the link and subscribe. There you go. I wish I could get 20,000 plus people. Or, I'm sorry. Yeah, 20,000. My, my head kind of went swimming for a bit. Uh, so, ooh, 195 live viewers. That's pretty cool. Really? Yes, really, Backspacic11. Cool, says the Antique Tractor. Yes, I like your newsletter. It's pretty small and easy. Thank you, Nickel Star Films. Will you please stop shouting, says Xander Zoot. Isn't that bad? Oh, by the way, is the microphone still clicking now when I hit the desk? Do you see it jumping? Is it jumping? I don't know if it's your voice. Oh. Uh, I was, I was, I tried to mitigate that, and I guess it didn't work. Sorry for shouting. I was so emphatic. Payment plan? Uh, there is no payment plan, at least at this point in time. That's the whole idea of, of getting it queued up ahead of time, and then, and then promoting. It's kind of an, it is an investment. It is an investment. Do it while you don't talk. Do it while I don't talk. Oh, like this. gotta figure out how to make it not do that i need a, i need another dampener i think on the mic so that it doesn't hit granted that's not gonna that's not gonna stop me from shouting was it too loud hopefully it wasn't too <laughs> was, did you see me in the red no okay yo what's up chris ten thousand dollars hey sure if you got money to burn i'd, ha I'd be happy to help <clears throat> the uh but no it's not that that's, that's the upper level. I didn't even talk about the upper level. They, most of my audience on YouTube is not in line for the upper level. The upper level is for serious business users, serious business owners. Everything else, you know, falls in line with people who just need a little bit of help. That's all. So, uh, let me go ahead and take a look at some of the headlines because we've got time for one more. Ooh, RIM is laying off high-level staff. Shocker. Uh, Google's Android has generated just 550 million since 2008. That's what figures suggest. Ouch. Paper, the next great iPad app from the brains behind Courier. All right, let's let's do a video on this. And I haven't I haven't done much. Let's see if I can find this. Uh, what is it? paper? Uh, click click Klebe Klebe. There's another. What was the? What was that one? Tapose. That was it. There's a new app called Tapose, and the new version sucks. I mean, the, the first version kind of sucks. I'm going to re-download it here. They definitely need to improve uh, some usability. This is the one that got uh, Kickstarter funding. But the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I've, I've, I've found a couple of other applications that are kind of like it. So are, can you see that okay, honey? Mm. Is that better? Yeah. Um. Is that kind of, can you see it kind of there? Yeah, if I do it like dark. this? A little dark? Mm -hmm. Better? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm trying to get the chat in there at the same time, like, keep it like. Okay. okay. Ready? Ready. Okay. Uh, a few months ago, you might remember a uh, few videos that were leaked and posted online, so, uh, some type of project from Microsoft called Courier. And uh, it was never really anything other than a prototype. Uh, Microsoft ended up killing the project. Uh, people ended up leaving Microsoft after they killed the project, and the project died. But the idea behind the project lived on. And a Kickstarter project was uh, put up and funded, and they finally released the first version of a project
that would bring what you thought Microsoft could have brought with Microsoft Courier to the iPad. So it's not Microsoft. It's a completely independent company, and the application is called Tap Pose. And with it, you can, well, create digital notebooks. Let me see here. It's, it's a little hard to, to use from this angle here. Uh, so you can scratch text. You can include uh, different uh, types of media, whether maps, contacts, videos, photos. Uh, you can organize and share those journals by way of email, export to PDF, uh, changing colors of backgrounds, uh, and start, you know, basically creating notebooks. And so this sketchbook could be yours for $3. Now, the first version that's available uh, isn't working so well. $3 is not a bad price to pay, but I'd probably wait till they issue some bug patches uh, for, or pa bug patches, bug fixes or patches uh, before you end up buying it for $3. Uh, there have been a lot of negative reviews, but I had to buy it. I had to see what it was. Uh, if I had any complaints that it's not very responsive for an iPad app, uh, and I think they'll work on that, certainly. But in case you wanted to try something like that and you didn't want to spend any money, uh, here's a project that was just released by the people, if I'm not mistaken, who had the idea for Courier. They've released something for free called Paper. And it works in much the same way. So essentially, you can create these idea books. Uh, and look at that. Look at, look at how clean that is. Dang, man, that's clean. You're limited by your imagination with uh, these types of projects. Uh, in fact, uh, you could use styluses, and there are features in these particular apps that will allow you to uh, keep, uh, well, not allow you to keep your wrist off of the base of the pad or the, the screen of the iPad, uh, but it will compensate for it. And depending on, you know, right-handed, left-handed, how you want to use your stylus, if you are using a stylus, uh, it would work accordingly. So, oh, that was easy enough. I figured out how to do it simply by just pinching. Let's go ahead and add one. Journal, can you see that okay, guys? I know that the color's a little weird. So, journal, there's my, ooh, nice. Ink, Chris, oh, nice! That's kinda cool, look at that, it's neat. Sketchbook, and then I can go in there and I can paint over here, I can choose a brush. Uh, I can even buy brushes if I wanted to. Uh, and, ooh, see, oh, I see. That's a nice little way, so if you want, you can go with the basic stuff like outline, write, color, uh, you can get the essentials package, that's kinda nice. Uh, so they've got different upsells in here, but the basic functionality is just a simple sketch pad. You see that? So it opens up. I can flip back and forth between the pages there. This is free. Now, of course, there's upsells in there. It's called Paper, and the icon's got a little 53 on there, so it's Paper by 53. And then I also learned about Bamboo Paper, and uh, this is another one of those applications that's free that works in much the same way. You're familiar with uh, Bamboo's, uh, or the Bamboo uh, product uh, that you could use on a desktop with a stylus. Uh, they pretty much brought the same type of functionality into an iPad app. So there are three applications that can turn your iPad into a sketchbook. Uh, bamboo Paper, Paper, and Tapose. Uh, Penultimate, we covered eons ago, certainly. Uh, and there are many others out there. Uh, go with the one that you find offers the best experience for you. Uh, and if you have any other, uh, I guess, uh, suggestions for me to take a look at, uh, I would be more than happy to take a look at them. Uh, honestly, between those three, I'd probably be inclined to use paper more than the other ones. I mean, if only because the first version is clean, uh, the UI is intuitive, and it does exactly what it is that I need it to do as some type of sketch pad for writing down notes, uh, scratching down charts and wireframes and whatnot. Uh, so and if, if, if you have, I get, like I said, uh, other suggestions to make, please uh, let us know. I, uh, I will do at some point, uh, as I, I did it last year, a, a review of all the apps that I have installed on my iPad. So uh, I know you, what's in that folder? What's it, what do you have there? I'll get to it, but not today. Is that six? We are good? Cool. Well, I'm going to wrap it down. Wrap it down. Wrap her up. Wind down. It's just, I mixed metaphors again. Dang it. Mixing metaphors is, is easy for me to do. I have so many of them swimming in my head. Uh, so yeah, Klebe, I heard about that one. Um, uh, Klebe, uh, my brother told me about it. It's, it's more money up front. Uh, I think it's like $5 for Klebe. Uh, and it seemed to be more social. So I figured I'd rather go the free route, Rick Brett, uh, than the uh, the paid route up front. Um, 
paper just seems to, to have the basic functionality that I might need for it. But then again, maybe I'll, I'll, maybe I'll try it. I mean, it's only five bucks, I guess. I mean, that's not horrible. Maybe I, I doubt they don't really send out the people to, to buy those applications easily. I, I don't spend a lot of money on applications as much as other people do. If, if I really, really need it and it does something truly unique, then I'll buy it. But Klebe now costs money where I can get the similar functionality that works well enough for free or for cheaper. I really do hope that Tapose uh, improves their user experience, though, because it's a little... Ah. Uh, word of the day is lightsaber, because there's a lightsaber on my cup. And the know me of the day, Diana, is... The Marshmallow Man. The Marshmallow Man. Congratulations, The Marshmallow Man. For having a cool screen name. For having a very cool screen name. Apparently, she loves marshmallows. She does. Uh, ooh, hey, check this out. Google to sell tablets on its own this year? I might be interested in that. I, I've i long said that I would kill for a Microsoft PC. Yeah. That would be the best experience for Windows. I would, if Google would sell tablets on their own, that may make a very compelling experience. Because at least you know you would get the updates pushed to you. You know, as opposed to you know, these uh, other problems that people have with Android uh, tablets and experiences, you know, they're just stuck, really stuck. That's how they feel, stuck. Or that's how I would feel. I'd feel stuck, but I'm not stuck. I'm stuck up, but not stuck. I, I'm not that stuck up, am I? <laughs> so thank you, everybody, for uh, joining us today. Uh, the Nitrum 24 IFA must have uh, been sleeping for... A couple, <laughs> couple of minutes ago. I fu Tasty. Thank you for the people who tuned in. And thank you for liking the video. Thank you for sharing the links that we provided for you. Uh, thank you for subscribing to the Locker Gnome email. The Locker Gnome email newsletter. I hope to see you during the uh, live YouTube hangout with YouTube partners on Google+. Plus, It's going to be happening in about another hour or so, talking about how Google+, Plus can benefit you as a YouTube partner or potential YouTube partner. And really, it's, it's, it's going to be uh, illustrated by us doing what we're going to do with the video. It's kind of weird how it's going to work that way. Uh, so thank you again, and I can't say that enough, and I try to say that every day. Thank you. Uh, thank you to my team at Locker Gnome. Uh, thank you to you, uh, the great community. It's it is a great community. Thank you, Nomies. Uh, thank you, Wi-Fi. And thank you, 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 thank you. I think it's about it. Uh, if you want to join us in the chat room, it's part of a live video feed that you could be a part of. 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later. <laughs>